Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this more Vampire's Fall Origins. Now, we have a, quite a few quests, well, only three of them. Origins, journey to the University of Kamengrad to the northwest of Avon, find Sisana's friend, Professor Ozin, master the hunt. The grim beast has a lair in the mountains to the west on the sides facing Avon, find and kill it, and finding the lost son again, find out what happened to Vezo's son Nicholas. No, no place for that. So I got Master the Hunt, no map location, that which to a thing, but I'm trying to locate this one. It would be somewhere along this line. I mean, technically that's not on a mountainside. So we're going to go up this way out here and then up to check this out because it's on this side over here. Now, I have mentioned before how the music in this game is really, really good and really, really awesome. And the devs have apparently been at least partially watching at least some of this, you know, because they came in on that episode where I mentioned that it was all really, really good to mention that you can buy the soundtrack and it's really awesome. But the thing is, each time I have the soundtrack, I also end up with well, you see, I, I, I gotta check that on the other side. The non-Avon side. I have never seen that before. It, 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 can I even get to that? Oh, I can't. There's a mountain lion right there. Okay, okay. But because of, I mean, right now, this channel is not monetized because I, while I have enough subscribers, ooh, the rain stopped. I don't have the view time. So, life is life. But if I ever do, uh -oh, then I'd kind of like getting paid for things. So, because of the copyright claims, now it's sharpen or a fracture? Boom! So, life is life, though. I mean, life is life. Oh, stun. Thank you, buddy. We're going to hit you with a bite. No, we're not. We're going to have to hit you with just less than keep building up focus. Uh, well, oh, well then. Always a bite and a fracture, too, so. Oh. I like the way they get dragged off. Armor reduced. You just keep, just give it up, buddy. Give it up, buddy. You're nothing but, but fuel for my belly. If I can manage to hit you with the, with this again. Nah. Not even a body left. I devour you, flesh and soul. Ooh, getting closer. Okay, it's, well, at least I got a little bit of money. That's nice. Now location. Is that? No. That's just, it looks good on the map, but it's... Oh. Oh. Well, if I'm not ready for it, I'll... It's only gonna cost like four gold. You hear a growl coming from inside the cave. What are we gonna enter? Preparing for battle. Oh! Oh boy. Okay, I'm not ready for the battle. Oh, I am really not ready for this battle. Well, hopefully I can last long enough to hit it at least once. Oh, dodge. Not bad. Yeah, but a bite is still 45, so. Oh, oh baby. Okay. Well, definitely a bite and a fracture. We'll just go with that combo. Oh. Oh, I don't hurt it nearly enough, but I do like the healing. And then, blam. Okay. I don't know. I might. 
If I can keep this up, if I can keep dodging, then I might be able to drag this in home. Because bada bing, bada boom. Ooh. Oh yeah, I see, I can't heal all the way. Oh, yeah, it's by sheer entropy in that fashion, it may end up wearing me down and winning because I can't keep healing fast enough. Oh, especially now. Bite and, and fracture. See, oy vey, I gotta be able to keep it up. Oh, of course, of course, it's gotta hit me with two of them? Two of them? And see that, what is this? Hitting me with two. Okay, bite and fracture. Oh. Body and soul devoured. Gone to fill my belly. Wow. That was pretty good amount of loot. Well, not the... Well, all right, thank you. The money. The, the experience. <laughs> that was hard to say. My sincere apologies. I'm still using like what blunt. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stick with for right now. Vitality. Uh yeah. And improve focus. And then deceit. I could do that. That'd be nice. Do I have to build my way up? Oh, I bet I do. Still, that's okay. Gain ability. Uh, we're gonna increase bite. I like that now. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, I seem to have Did I master the hunt? Yes, report back to the master of the hunts. Okay, very good, very good. Let's head back to Avon and get that done. Yeah, we'll just go with a straight shot over. Turn that in, it'll be a good thing. Bonk face first into the trees. And if I happen to pick up any other uh, horrendous things that want to try and devour my flesh, well, you know, experience is experience. It's handy, it's dandy. They're all tasty in their own delicious ways. They all go to fill my belly. My unending hunger for blood. Not that I've really got that going on. It just kind of sounds dramatic. I don't even know that there's anything bad with my situation now. I seem to be like a really you know, a total sweetheart. Is it you? Oh, well done. Destined for greater things than the woods of Avon. Find Master Hunter Lab in Comingrad. He can teach you more. I believe I can also let you in on a secret. Maybe you've seen her, the beast they call the Mother of Wolves. She would be a worthy challenge. I will spray some scent of waffle flower on you. She will find you more easily now. Well. Okay. Um... Yeah, you've told me everything, so let's level up. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you know, point into blunt, and then we put point into each of these. I do like getting more experience from them. That's much better, I think. Yeah, and then we'll just stick with uh, with bite for right now. I need to level up my other stuff as well, so I shouldn't go too crazy on that. But still, pretty, pretty good. Unfortunately, that just leaves really 
northwest of Avon. Oh, that's this road. Okay, well, what's that? Just a random battle? You know, to, is it going to send me out to the rest of this? Or is this up to me to explore and discover? Huh, makes me curious. Well, I suppose we might as well head on that road and we'll keep the vasoconstrictor quest in mind while we head up here. Yeah, that's the road, all right. So, thumbs up. Oh, well. Duh, duh. I should have... I should have probably checked on that. Still, I, you know, what the heck. We can get them started. And, pff, I hate the way I do that. Which I'm always doing. But still, I got it started. So whenever I enter a more civilized zone, we can continue. Okay. I just want to check on here to, to see when I'm heading into new territory. Hi, Mike. Need direction? Sure. Follow this road north a bit, then take the first right to get to the ruins of Old Paddock Village. You have to go through that village to either get to North Karja or the Lonely Man's Tavern. Watch out, though. Monsters will be lurking there. You reach Kamingrad if you just follow this road. Okay. <clears throat> there must be a better way to drag these wagons. Maybe some kind of four-legged animal. Yes. Yes. Why well, didn't I think of that before? I'll test the pig as soon as I get on. I think... Everybody in this area is badly affected by the stupidity curse. I'm just kind of curious what's over here. Oh no! Oh! Thanks, buddy. Well, goodness gracious. All right. Well, I guess it's time to get slaughtered, isn't it? I guess I really, oh boy. I really, really need to stick to the road. Oh my God. This is horrendous. Uh, well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I am, this is, I am a debtor, no matter what. This is insane. Really? Well, how did I manage that? Oh, well, but then, you know, it keeps throwing this back at me, so. Thing is, I can't heal enough to catch up, so I keep falling a little bit further at each attack. Thanks a lot there, you hideous wolf thing, you. Uh, can't you just leave me alone? And like, I mean that, you'd have to die for that. And that, I can't imagine you'd really want to do that. So. Oh, it's just so slow. The slow decline into death here. <laughs> I could just kill myself, you know, give up and, and, and die. But who knows? I mean, there's not a chance, but you never know. I might be able to pull this off. I'm not going to be able to pull this off. I'm just prolonging the inevitable by doing this. If I could somehow, though, just keep her from doing that, that would be fine. Oh. The pain. The pain. Oh, the pain. Boom! Yeah, 42. Uh. Oh, not sharp, and I forgot to click that. See, it's just toying with me now. It's just playing games here, trying to make make me think of oh, and then it hits me twice in a row. 
Oh, now it costs five to come back from the dead. So, okay, I'm stuck there? Good. Okay. I guess I'm going to get away from me. You hideous sock maker, you. Okay, I'm not ready to leave the road there because of the, the mother of wolves. Only I don't know if there's any other way for me to to bulk up on experience any other way. I just hope so. Aside from, I mean, the, maybe the other quests. Because the roads are, are at least semi-safe. S at least semi-safe. There's not too huge of a chance of, why have I not gone through my stuff? Like, what is this? Uh, 27 to, oh. This is much better. Maybe? Okay, so... Well, that was the one we just got rid of. Right? And then that's... That's actually better. Okay. And that sucks. And that blows. And that's... Uh, I don't use piercing damage. And that's not as good. So next time I fall into... Fall into? Next time I head into some place where I can sell junk... I just gotta remember to sell that junk. Uh, map? Oh, they said to stick to the right, didn't they? Or at least that one fellow did. Hi, Cecilia. I don't know how many times I've seen lost people here. To your right is Paddock Village. If you continue on the road behind me, you'll reach Cayman Grad. Watch out, though. These roads are not safe. Okay. To the right is Paddock. And straight ahead is came in grab. Watch out, the roads are not safe if you're inexperienced. I'm moderately experienced. I why would I want to go to there might be I don't know. I don't know. I'll come back to paddock. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I'm a debtor, aren't I? <clears throat> I guess I'm going to have to go back through Paddock. Hopefully I'll be able to gather enough experience. Yeah, at least you're stunned. Well, at least he was stunned. Well, I might be able to pull this off if it lets me do this sort of stuff. Well, not bad. You jerk. Oh, Baby, none of focus. That's all right. Gotcha twice though, and now I'm not even hurt. Oh, son, you in for a world of hurting? Uh, at least I can hope. Yeah, I mean this is. It doesn't seem to. Oh, you! That was really uncalled for. And you should feel bad for this. I probably could have sharpened my weapon too. I kind of feel bad about that. Ha ha. Oh. Baby, baby. I love it. Well, I got 31. What can I do on control? Like backstab? It's amusing. I don't know if it's really worth all of that stuff I did, but boom! There's not even a body left to be buried. No one will ever know what happened to you. Everyone just wonders whatever happened to Reginald. Has anyone seen Reginald? But no one ever saw Reginald again. No one ever found the body. No one... Oh. Oh. Okay. That's, that's... What? Oh, Kamengrad is way up here. 
And thank you for having watched the first part of this two-part episode of Vampire's Fall Origins, a very cool turn-based action role-playing game. Well, less action, but definitely a role-playing game. Thumbs up for that. Now, I know the action cuts off abruptly, because it cuts off abruptly. But while it cuts off abruptly, it doesn't cut off abruptly. Part two is coming up tomorrow. That is a very good thing. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.